We are now at one week old for our quail checks and Henrietta has been doing a really good job. They're starting to get squirrely and so we are going to move them out into a newly reinforced quail hut. This is different than what I did last year. Last year I had the little quail chicks I think in this brooder for about four weeks but they are doing so well and since Henrietta is going to be with them I'm going to put them out there. Here we go. Here's my lovely assistant to help me. We are now out at the quail hut. I'm inside. We have done a couple of modifications. Around the entire perimeter of the quail hut, we now have a hot wire. That's electrified at nighttime. And then at nighttime and during the daytime, I have two strands of poly wire. Because I really don't ever want to have the feeling of coming to my quail hut and not having any quail. We're about ready to put them in and see how it goes. You're okay. We made one change. We didn't like the size of the brooder box in here and all the extra shavings was making a mess. So we just put in a five gallon bucket and some hay. Little chicks have been doing really good. And we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it goes. The quail are almost two weeks old. They've been doing very well in the little protective cage inside of the quail hut. Open the door here. I am now going to attempt to let them do some free ranging. This is either going to be a miraculous success or a terrible catastrophe. Let's see what happens. So today went pretty well with my test on free ranging the quail. The dicey part actually was when I started to put them back and two of them are a lot more spry than you think they are. But I got them all in, they're with Henrietta and so I will continue to keep giving them a little bit of free ranging and we'll go from there. So I'm leaving them in there in little interior pen. I closed the door. They've got this hot wire around the bottom and then two strands which I'll electrify now. <laughs> 